Breast cancer is the most common cancer in the UK and a leading cause of death in women. The breast imaging workforce is under severe pressure from rising demand, increasingly complex pathways and worsening staff shortages. Services are in crisis and breast units are closing. Our initiative aligns the need for a workforce solution with the current national interest in credential training pathways. A credential is a formal accreditation of attainment of competencies in a defined area of clinical practice. Credentials provide consistent clinical standards recognised across the UK, which are necessary to support better and safer patient care. The NHS Long-Term Plan and Interim People Plan set out a commitment to deliver workforce transformation. Expanding multidisciplinary credentialing was identified as an immediate priority. This breast clinician credential in breast disease management is one of the first credentials to be delivered with learners currently being trained within it. Breast clinicians are doctors. We work within a variety of aspects of breast services, including risk assessment and breast imaging. Historically, there has been no standard training pathway for us. That barrier to workforce development is being addressed by this credential. It also creates a new opportunity for doctors who might otherwise have considered leaving clinical practice and for doctors returning to the workforce. The Breast Clinician Credential in Breast Disease Management represents the collaborative efforts of the Association of Breast Clinicians, Royal College of Radiologists, the National Breast Imaging Academy and Health Education England. A business case for this initiative, which had written support from national stakeholders, charities and patient representatives, was submitted by the NBIA to HEE in 2017. HEE agreed to fund approximately half the employment costs of one cohort of 10 trainees for three years of training, commencing in 2019. The Credential Project Board was then convened to lead the pilot. Representatives from ABC, RCR, NBIA and HEE sit on that board. The aims have been to standardise and recognise the training of breast clinicians and to increase the breast clinician workforce to support breast screening and symptomatic services. The initiative was launched nationally in January 2019 when expressions of interest were sought from breast units across England. 25 units expressed an interest in taking part. The first 10 units to guarantee that they could deliver all training elements of the credential were supported by the board to recruit their own trainee locally. They were provided with publicity, recruitment material, HR support and service level agreements. These training posts proved extremely popular with over 220 applications received for the 10 available posts. Trainees were appointed and started in post from August 2019 onwards. A formal launch event was hosted at the RCR in September 2019. This breast clinician credential in breast disease management is a new run-through three-year training pathway that covers breast radiology, family history assessment and clinical assessment. Entry requirements include foundation competencies. Training is aligned to a new curriculum that was developed based on Excellence by Design, the GMC's standard for postgraduate education, and modelled on the new RCR clinical radiology curriculum. Non-imaging elements of the curriculum were developed so that the credentialed breast clinician can also provide enhanced clinical skills, family history risk assessment and appropriate breast screening. Trainees are based at breast units with established expertise in training. They attend local teaching, have experienced clinical and educational supervisors and maintain an e-portfolio provided by the RCR. Their progression is evaluated by formative and summative assessment alongside annual appraisal. In February 2020, six months after training started, the Credential Project Board convened a national panel, including lay representation, to undertake an interim review of trainees' e-portfolios to ensure that a consistent standard was being achieved across all training sites. 
all the trainees achieved a satisfactory outcome. In March 2020, lockdown changed life as we know it, but our team worked together to navigate these unprecedented times. The board liaised with trainees and trainers across the country to maintain training through whatever means remained viable. This included the release of interactive e-learning modules that were purpose-built by the NBIA and mapped to the curriculum. They can be completed anywhere, at any time, through the e-learning for health website. The board conducted group video conference meetings with trainees and trainers to maintain contact, obtain feedback and provide support. Training and progression review processes were adapted to accommodate for the impact of COVID. Training has been maintained and the challenges created by COVID have provided a platform to highlight the innovative and agile capabilities of this initiative. Hello, I'm Dr. Miyada Haidar and I'm a trainee in the first cohort of the pilot. My training started in Manchester in August 2019, where I'll stay for three years. I undergo training in three areas, radiology, family history and surgical clinics. My first year of training has been intense, but I've really enjoyed the dynamic nature of the post. This training pathway enables me to balance my professional aspiration to work in post services with my personal circumstances. I feel privileged to be training in such a supportive environment and to be part of such a great national training pilot. As we enter the second year of the pilot, we are delighted to see the progression of our trainees and their capabilities. Many are already contributing to the productivity of their units. They will be appointable as qualified breast clinicians after completing the three-year credential, bolstering services that are currently experiencing a critical shortage of radiologists. The cost of training for HEE is £30,000 per trainee per year, with the host trust providing the remainder. This is good value for upskilling doctors with specialist skills. It will maintain the workforce and enhance retention by enabling flexible portfolio careers. Additionally, the increase in diagnostic capacity will reduce locum costs and reduce fines for breaching targets. This project is an innovation in training specifically to meet service need and develop the role of breast clinicians. It has been a fundamental proof of concept that a credential process can be developed and delivered to enable service transformation. It will act as a blueprint for future credentials for doctors, including those pursuing alternative career pathways outside conventional training. We are delighted that the success and significance of this project has been recognised by being shortlisted for the 2020 BMJ Awards. Our success has reinforced discussions with HEE who are considering funding another credential trainee cohort to start in 2021. Once the credential is well established, we would like to develop UK-wide training with annual recruitment. This training will support workforce expansion, help to sustain breast services nationally and ensure patients receive high quality care. This has the potential to positively impact on every breast unit in the UK.